The International Criminal Court in The Hague has issued arrest warrants for Benjamin Netanyahu and Yoav Gallant for war crimes and crimes against humanity. Mike McNair assesses the impact of the court's decision and the USA's denunciation of the court. What makes the USA the final arbiter of justice? America and its arrogant bullying may be resented, but, ask Yasmin Mather, does that expanding BRICS alliance represent a viable alternative? Given that Turkey may one day join the BRICS, Eslan Uslu looks at the relationship between Turkey and Israel and exposes the hypocrisy of the Erdogan regime, which defends Palestinians as a populist move, but maintains unhindered business interests with the Zionist apartheid state. Volodymyr Zelensky has lost no time using US attackums and British storm shadow missiles against Russia. Jack Conrad assesses the drift of World War III. On the theme of health, after 14 years of Tory mismanagement of the NHS, Dr James Linney lambasts the idea put forward by Labour's West Streeting that the league tables are part of the solution. While I examine what we can learn from the sociology of health and illness and how health is at the heart of the communist project, not least of which because for Marx, communism would be the full realisation of human potential. The assisted dying bill is examined by Paul Damati, who asks whether this is just the first step in giving the green light to capitalism to dispose of the seriously ill as an economic inconvenience. Join us on Sunday, where I'll be talking about Marxism and psychoanalysis.